Hello everyone, welcome back to the Hasap and Makarwars channel. During the last video I explained how the air conditioning system works. In today's video, it's going to be about how to troubleshoot issues with your air conditioning system using a manifold gauge set. I have a chart right here that I'm going to be using, so I'm going to get the camera up close so I can get started. Alright, so before I go over these examples, you need to know the temperature is going to affect the pressures. So I'm going to let you look at this chart. Right here. You can always rewind and pause the video on the chart so it can make more sense to you. And what we're going to do for these examples is a weather of 80 degree Fahrenheit. So just think of it as the weather outside or in your garage is 80 degrees. And the refrigerant that we're dealing with is 134A. So using the chart and going over the 80 degree Fahrenheit weather example, our low pressure side should read around 45 psi and the high pressure should read around 195. Okay, so right before we go over the examples, let's go over some safety precautions. When you're conducting a test, these valves need to be closed. And to close them, you just turn them clockwise. The same way you turn any other valve, and you close them. That's them. And this cap right here, just put it over here for safety. Now the other two valves that are going to be connected to the engine, which are going to be these, they open and close differently. To close them, you turn them counterclockwise because the needle moves up. And once you have everything connected and you're ready to do the test, you open them by turning them clockwise because that pushes the needle in here and it's going to enable the pressure to go out just like when you push on your valve stem on your tire this works the same way that's why counterclockwise moves it away and clockwise pushes it just so you know but remember at first everything needs to be closed so before you connect these, counterclockwise all the way until it stops and then you can connect them, you know, it's just a quick release. Pull on this, push it all the way in, release it, and make sure it's tight. And obviously make sure that the hoses are connected securely so nothing leaks. So now everything is connected, you have these two valves closed, this is capped. You start the engine, you open the other valves, and you let it run for a few minutes. So for our first troubleshooting example, let's say that our high side is normal, 195 PSI, but our low pressure is high, and it's somewhere around 100 PSI, when it should be around 45, if we're talking about 80 degree Fahrenheit. So at that point, what's happening is either going to be an orifice tube defective, or an expansion valve, depending on the system, that is allowing too much pressure to go through, instead of lowering it to 45, and in some cases, it could cause this pressure to drop also because it's not able to stay at the normal so it could be let's say you know 180, 170 and this is 100 so I'm using these numbers for the example but the numbers could vary slightly depending on how severe the problem is so now let's go over problem number two let's say that a high side is high is about 300 so it's 105 over the normal but the low side is low it's somewhere around 28 to 30 with, and it should be around 45. So at that point the same components could be the problem which is the orifice tube or the expansion valve but instead of letting too much pressure go through now they're not letting it go through and it's maintaining that high side too high and as the compressor circulates the refrigerant the pressure drops on the low side below what it should be because there's not enough flow to maintain it at the desired 45 psi. Now let's go over example number three. Let's say that both of them are slightly low. The high side has about 160 and the low side is 28 to 30. This right here is more likely an indication of low refrigerant level. Sometimes it may be low enough that the compressor may cycle on and off. If the low side starts dropping in the low 20s, this would cause the clutch to disengage. Then once the pressure builds up again, it would engage again and the pressures could fluctuate, both of them. Now let's go over example number four. The pressures are nearly the same on the high side and the low side, anywhere to 80 to 100 PSI, which is pretty much what the static pressure would be. 
At that point, you have a faulty compressor that is unable to build up pressure and it needs to be replaced. These right here are four of the most common ones. Obviously, since it's a complex system, there are going to be more issues, but these four are the most common of them all. And there you have it. Now you know how to troubleshoot four of the most common air conditioning system issues using a manifold gauge set. Thanks for watching. See you next time.